concrete is the most used material in the world after water. In fact, the amount of concrete we use is more than all other materials put together. And for this reason, um, it has a big impact on the environment. Now, this is an essential material for infrastructure to house people, to build roads and bridges. So we can't do without it. We can't replace it with other materials. We have to make it better. And of course, making it better, this is a very important component of reaching the sustainable development goals. Construction materials are designed to be used for 40, 100 years. And this involves a lot of basic understanding and testing. So you have to really be able to multiply these solutions on a worldwide basis. Well, I think we see already that um, work on cement and concrete is already very internationalized. And um, we are interacting already with people from many countries around the world. Um, however, I think what we're very privileged to have here in Switzerland is um, very sophisticated equipment, a uh, very good basis of, of understanding on a theoretical level. And what we've already seen from our collaboration with Cuba is that this uh, underlying knowledge really helps in the field. Hello everybody, my name is Fernando Martirena. I am the head of the research center CIDEM here at the Universidad Central de las Pías in Cuba. And we're the host of the uh, LC3 Technology Resource Center. We've participated with several uh, uh, colleagues in Switzerland, India, and also here in Cuba in the development of this new LC3 cement, which is a combination of calcine clays, limestone, and clinker, and can replace uh, high amounts of clinker in the cement, thus making it very, very sustainable in terms of carbon emissions. We have carried out the full uh, innovation cycle, so we've been engaged doing uh, the fundamental science, so we understand at the level of the atoms what is happening with this new cement. But we, we have also been able to formulate the cement different combinations and study the way to produce it. This is applied science, and together also with uh, equipment developers, such as, for instance, the, the firm EPIAC, we have been able to collaborate in the development and implementation of equipment for calcination of clays, which is essential in this process. Uh, we are really, through this TRC, we are really engaged in real life projects together with several firms here in the region, in Latin America, but also in Africa, as you will see later. And, uh, and in this pilot plan, we are able to test all of the parameters of the technology and really uh, and really make them work correctly, know exactly the resistance time, the temperature for calcination, and the quality of the cement that we are, we are testing. Uh, this, we have already been more than 10 years in this process, and now we are really happy that, to see that the industry is really embracing this technology and they are really uh, making real plans and real production of this cement that is going to be a huge contribution to mitigate uh, the problems uh, caused by climate change. Thank you very much.